that a patient choice is not a slippery slope to suicide. It is a carefully thought through question and decision with strong safeguards. The other question, and I think it is the hardest question, is about letting someone we love go. Letting them make the decision that they wish to die. And this is a very hard decision. And I recently became more intimately involved in what that means. As I said the outside, outset, I've strongly endorsed this bill. But I endorsed it in theory. And it is different when you are personally involved. As some of you know, I recently lost my brother. And I was there at his bedside for almost two weeks as he was slipping away into a deep sleep. His situation does not entirely fit the category that this legislation is designed to address. He was not in pain, and I'm very grateful for that. But he did fit into it in another sense. He told me he had made a decision, and he said the words, I want to die. He was ready. When he first said those words, we were all shocked. And the response was, no, no, especially from friends who did not know him as well as I did. Friends said, you've got to fight. You've got to fight. You've got to live. And this is a very powerful instinct and a natural reaction. Submitting to death is considered a defeat. Most often for the physician, sometimes for the patient, and often for those who love the person. And he repeated these words to the doctor. He explained that he had a good he He made his wishes very, very clear to the physician. Now, he was already in the dying process, but what he made very, very clear, he did not want to prolong it. He did not want to live a life that was unsatisfactory to him. And he also did not want heroic measures. Absolutely not. And I must say, this was in the VA hospital in Tucson, Arizona. The hospital was totally understanding. It was quite extraordinary. You know, first, we thought he would recover. When it became clear that he could not recover, they did not force or pressure anyone in the family to do anything unusual. So slowly, his medications were withdrawn. But I know from my own instinct, even though I knew this in theory, that it was the right thing to do, it was still hard not to try to have him swallow a teaspoon of chocolate pudding or applesauce and consider that an achievement and a way to prolong life. But I also understood that this was his wish. Two days before he passed away, he was brought to the hospice section of the hospital. And I must say, I have high praises for the Veterans Administration care. The hospice was kind, was loving, and treated him with total respect. So here we are. And I think that the greatest respect that one can show a loved one is actually letting the person go when they decide it is time to go and when all the precautions are there to prevent a death that is not warranted. <coughs> it is hard. It is not an easy thing to do, but it is the right thing to do. You know, my brother and I didn't always vote the same way. But I'm quite convinced 
If he could, he would have testified today, and I'm quite sure we would have voted the same way in favor of patient choice. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. I'm sorry that I wasn't here. That's all right. Any questions for the Governor? I'd be happy to try and answer questions. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck.